There was something creepy about that guy and his dog. There's that dirty RV from the other day. I don't remember seeing the RV. I must not have been paying attention. Well, you clicked everything else but the RV. Well, no. <laughs> Look at all these flyers. It's so sad that nobody will read them. Why not? R.J. McGrady. That's the thing. Good morning. Looks like you're ready to catch some serious fish. I wish, young gal. Arcadia Bay just isn't the same fishing town I grew up in. Has the town changed much? By Neptune's beard, it has. Seems like a lifetime ago when I was king of the harbor. You have your own boat? I call her the Bali High. I've kept a hold of her in these lean days. Might be all the time we've got left. I thought one of Arcadia Bay's main exports was fish. Oh, the fish used to jump onto my boat until the Prescotts and their finance fiends snapped up harbor rights. The Prescotts have a lot of power. They might rename the town Prescott Bay, if that tells you much. Assholes. Do you know them? Do good for my working kind. I know them through their bad deeds. Let's not get downcast. I hear the fish calling for Bali High. Never forget that old fishermen never die. We just smell that way. Womp. I'd love to learn more, but I have to get going. Happy fishing out there. Shit. I think I've talked my quota for the year. I should have. Mm. Yeah, sorry guys, I'm gonna go back a little. Good morning. Look. I wish, young gal. Has the town. By Neptune's beard. You have your own. I call her the Bali Hut. I thought one of our cave. Oh, the fish. The Prescotts. They might rename the town Prescott. They own my school. Crooks gain respect when they put their names on schools and libraries. Let's not get downcast. I'd love to learn more. Okay, so they're a the, the family of shits. smell of breakfast and the sound of clanging silverware Ugh, makes me feel 13 again. You'd never know how weird this town is by these postcards. That graffiti has been here forever. Gross. Fire walk with me. Womp womp. Thank you, redneck poet. That's so ignorant. The poster doesn't mention whacked students with guns. I might make Chloe check this out with me. Why does that so not sound fun? 
This guy has serious cojones. Oh, man. I bet that's the same gum from when I was here last. I would buy a shirt, but they're so damn tourist. What do you want? I feel like shit. Too much beer, so spare me, please. Just let me suffer quietly. Hello, sir. Hi, young lady. You look a little lost. Just hungry and thinking about what to eat. Now, that is a real problem at the uh, Two Wells. I can never decide. Joyce's pumpkin pie or grilled mac and cheese? So, you know Chloe? Sadly, we all know Chloe down at the station. <sighs> Poor Joyce. Just heard that Chloe even had a pot dealer in her room. Uh, that's not good. Anyway, mm, that bacon sure smells good. Is she a friend of yours? I know her. Then you know she's a handful. No, I think she's just had some bad luck. You have to create your own good luck. I think Chloe would rather destroy. But I'm just a cop, not a psychologist, so... So shut the fuck up. I guess you're friends with David Madsen. I wouldn't use that word. We know each other. Why do you ask? He kinda has a reputation at Blackwell. I have respect for David. He served his country. He found his calling at Blackwell. Yeah, at yeah. At the station, we're happy David is exactly where he is. <laughs> Not everybody can be a cop. How well do you know Joyce? I know her delicious grub. Everybody at the station comes here. We take care of this place like it's our own kitchen. And Joyce, like she's our... our mother. I have to go now. Enjoy your breakfast. By the way, one thing I can tell you for certain is to stay away from that RV outside. I usually stay away from sketchy parked vehicles. Wise policy. The guy who lives in it, Frank, is pretty sketchy himself. That's all I can say for now. I should finish up my coffee and get to work. So, David is too too shitty to be an even uh, even a cop. Even the cops don't want his ass. I don't feel like talking right now. I got to deliver a load of breakfast to my stomach. Over now. Uh, hello? Pardon moi, but you're in my eyesight. Isn't everything in here within eyesight? I don't care for your tone. You sound like Joyce. How does Joyce sound? Bossy and smartass. Like you. Why are you being so rude? Because I've been on the road for 12 hours straight, hopped up on coffee and diet pills, carrying two tons of nitrate, and all I want to do is eat a quiet breakfast and stare out the window. Do you mind? Fuck you too. Drool. Want everything. Okay, let's talk to Joyce. Joyce. Come in, Joyce. 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 Oi. Yeah, I'm going to take a short break and I'll be right back.